Okay, we've got a rapid game going on. 15 minute zero increment. I want to practice the answer and then practice some more of the answer. Simple concept. Saves having to think of all different types of lines. Let's just keep it nice and practical. We're practicing the answer to chess. Simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board. I'm going to come here <coughs> and to pressure the king or the king area. Depends what this game brings to us. What is the theme? What are the target points? What are the target areas? What are the initial weaknesses that we can see? If you can't see any, you don't force it. Just having a quick look to see what is going on. Just develop the knight, nice and steady. Initially, we would, we'd be saying these are the weak pawns here, the weak areas. So we could initially start our attack process thinking about going towards this area. A sketchy plan is better than no plan. Let's go for it. Opponent's done a pawn push, which is blocking the bishop coming here. So immediately my, my, my thought process is of the mindset that they're not too confident about developing and attacking their pieces if they're thinking of defending so early. That's my thought process. That's what I'm going to stick with. So that gives us more chance to actually start targeting these areas here because they've already weakened it by pushing the pawn once and if it's going to castle then it gives us more weight to attack that area just bring the bishop out looking to castle potentially for myself and they have gone and castled that side so our focal point will be getting towards this area at some stage throughout the game because he's feeling safe with his king castled. Going to castle two. The opponent could be thinking the same stuff about my game as well, but I need to have a plan of attack. The ultimate aim is for the answer to put pressure on the king or the king area during that process strategically removing pieces from the board to get towards the king area if possible if we can't we're going to reduce down the amount of pieces that the opponent has so that they capitulate or re and resign so it's developed i'm going to put a smaller piece attacking a higher piece now i can attack the bishop now i feel happy that my king is safe so they've captured this is a nice pawn position because it blocks here as we know so the knight activity now is stifled so they're potentially going to be looking to bring the knight around here I uh, always well brought the other knight back so he's feeling some sort of pressure towards his king area already for him to have made that move okay so what do we have could go for a nice steady gentle movement here could go for a big movement which would be here then the pawn takes opening up the king area dangerous I know but it's a fault so for now I just want to keep it nice and steady I mean the bishop is potentially looking to come here but I'm not too concerned about that maybe just moving my king across give my knight a little bit of space so we don't need to be too eager at this moment so what I'm thinking is if we get the bishop here then it's attacking his bishop our knight comes here but then can come back around again once the bishops disappeared to put pressure towards the king area I'm going to do a small king move not wanting to overexert. I don't need to my focal point is on these two pawns here and he's given up a pawn the target area is going to be prime for us now 
that's my thought process anyway. We're going to capture, nice and simple. So he's going to develop his bit. Ooh, hasn't. He's gone with the rook. That might be a bit of a problem. That might be a bit of an issue. So this is the target area, as we said. Now he's weakened that already for us, so he's done the job for us, which is really good. Thank you very much. And we then got to build on how we develop that. Could push this pawn here if he captures. We could capture back with the idea basically of the bishop pinning through to the rook onto the knight. Some something like that. A thought process running through my head on there, but do I lose out if he just pushes his pawn down onto my knight? So if he pushes onto my knight. Uh, my knight's not going to go there because his queen is there. I can't go there because my pawn is there, so I'd have to bring my knight back to attack it. There is that option, isn't there? But maybe they don't. Maybe they capture. But if they don't, just bring it here. We're attacking the piece again. He does capture. So that makes that a little bit easier now to follow that process that we talked about, which was basically getting the pin here. Still focused on this area here. Could bring the bishop here and put a check on as well. But I just believe the pawn is going to drop. So he's moved the rook out of the way of there, but he's put a pin on. But like we said, if we go here, he can simply just drop the pawn on. Which is a shame. Okay, so we could leave that in the back pocket and somehow see if we can get rid of this pawn. If we pushed up, it blocks down, we capture something along them lines. I think pushing here, we do have the idea of the bishop coming here to pin the rook. So if we can challenge this pawn somehow to get rid of it. Although he doesn't have to, if we push here, he can just push down, so he's still blocking that area. It's pushed down already. That might be a bit previous. But it's still going to be blocking that passageway. Hmm. It's going to be blocking it, but I'm on his knight, so his knight's going to have to move. Then I can maybe push the pawn up, get the bishop putting pressure on. Because his bishop won't have any support if he came there. So let's capture. The queen captures. Oh, if we had something supporting this, oh, then that would have been beautiful. Right, okay, so it's blocked off all of those attempts, but he's got all his pieces on this diagonal pinning himself to his king at the moment so there must be something that we can do to make this a better place for us mm -hmm. I need to develop this white square bishop I'm just going to bring the bishop here take it off the back give my rook more space to work on these these files here still focused here but I need to get my pieces positioned correctly before I can do that would be nice to get the rook here obviously because of the pin which is what we're looking for but it looks like the opponent knows what we're trying to achieve especially from the last movements that they've made but he's gonna have to jostle his way out of that position because they've put themselves in that position so it's like two moves. Oh, that might not be one of the moves. Hmm. That might not be one of the moves. I'm going to continue with this here. Unless there's something I'm missing. Maybe does he just drop his pawn? But then we could push this pawn to challenge. But then I suppose he drops this pawn and then if we take take yeah okay so potentially there is that we do have the knight that can attack the rook here no 
more space there. Ah, oh, he's bringing the bishop defending. Yeah. He's bringing the bishop defending, so if we went here, we could still take his bishop off the board. Couldn't we? I'm following that all the way through to the letter, targeting, looking to put pressure on this area. Don't really see a reason to change that process. Seems pretty simple. That knight again has still got this attack on the rook. This queen's moved. Do, 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 do. The queen has moved. Could put the knight and attack his rook. If his bishop takes, rook takes. We're on this pawn. I'm going to bring the knight in now to get some attacks going here. Multiple attack situation. We're defended here. This queen's by itself, really. It's not got a big attack on our king. It's in the king area, but the, the pieces are working together. It does have like a but we've got the bishop protecting, we've got the rook protecting, so that's not a big issue. So I think if he takes, then the rook takes. He's moving his rook off of line, so he's doing a lot of stuff to actually protect that area, so he is seeing stuff. He is seeing stuff. I'm going to attack his queen again. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Our rook is now on this pawn here. But if you noticed, he does have all his pieces heading towards our king area. But at the moment, they're just not working. Not it, It's not enough. You know, our king is in the corner, nice and safe from an early move. He's trying to get across somehow. Mm -hmm. and if we have a look at where our queen is it's facing their queen and the queen doesn't have any protection so that might have been a bit of a knee jerk reaction that's a bit unlucky damn okay so looks like the opponent's signal has, has gone it says left the game